have been rumors of an alliance at the edge of the galaxy. There's a tremendous amount of detail that's required in bringing Foundation to life. This season is a lot bigger than the first season in scale and scope. Everything's so detailed, everything's put together so well, it's insane. The wardrobe, the set designs, they're all completely brilliant. We show this factory progression of technology. Roughly speaking, it takes us two years to make a season. Figure six months for pre-production, seven to eight months of filming, and then close to a year post-production because we have so many visual effects. Our real goal on the show is to give people that scope that they don't expect on television. Hang on! And action. When I started Foundation, I decided that I want to film as much of it on location as possible. I want the crew and the actors to feel the heat, to feel the wind, because I felt that it would just make everything feel more real. Smart boy. Season two is very much a story of asymmetrical warfare. The Foundation, compared to Empire, is a speck. But slowly but surely, the Foundation is gaining influence. They've grown and they've taken over the outskirts of the galaxy. The sets and the locations that we've been on for both seasons have been picked out so incredibly. It helps us create the world and it makes it so much easier to be in the moment. Season two goes all over the place. There are a lot of new worlds and they're all very different. We were able to find all these new planets and give them a unique look. We're gonna to return to Trantor. In Ireland, we had the main palace sets, the original Mirror of Souls, and we built a new clone tank set. We are also back in a different Synex, a Synex that's completely covered in water. The world of Ignis, we had the jungle in the Czech Republic, but there are oceans in Ignis, so those scenes were shot in the Canaries. I spent three days on sand dunes, and it was miles away from everywhere else, but we have so much fun on set. I love every second of it. We're in the Summer Palace. We wanted the elements in this set to make it feel like you were in this Encore Wat type of jungle palace. Whoever's in charge, please could we end this charade? I thought you might be the one to notice. Terminus, where the Church of Selden is, was actually shot in the old Skoda factory in the Czech Republic. Terminus City is in Fort Ventura, and it's just so real. It's in the middle of an empty space, and they've built a village. It's not difficult to imagine you're on a barren planet. A lot of the locations that we've chosen, the population in North America have not seen or don't know about. So it lets us spend more time in those locations as our backdrops for all of the storytelling as if it's an alien world. And we're always trying to push the look of the show. Wow, look at you. The fashion in season two is just fantastic. Our costume designer, Jane Petrie, she and her team had to come up with thousands upon thousands of costumes. We're flying through nine planets. And there's no through thread, so we have to come up with a whole new concept for each planet and a new backstory for where the costumes have come from. One of the things that we really wanted to do with season two with our costumes was just explode the color palette. We've got these wonderfully lush reds that are embodied by the Church of the Galactic Spirit. We've got these kind of rainbow colors that are embodied by Cloud Dominion. Compared to season one, it's been really good to get outside more. It's a little bit brighter. We go to more planets, so there's a lot more variety. Welcome to Trento. This season's day is completely different than last season's. Day has turned in his blue armor. He's gotten a little bit more flamboyant. Lee's wearing chainmail this season. Selden! Allow me to present the Doyen of the Trade Leagues, Sereth the First, sole descendant of Dominion. Cloud Dominion. They come from a place where they produce the best pigments in the galaxy. All the Imperial Blues in pure form. We took slices of agate and worked them into a print, and we had these big billowing robes. The look of Queen Sarith and Enjoyer Rue and all of the Cloud Dominion is different to anything I've ever seen. Cloud Dominion is the exact opposite of what Trantor is, which is blues, classics, and everything is so strict. And then you have these women come into this universe and everything is billowy and feminine. 
What brings you to our world? For season two, the location that really has embedded itself in costumes would be Ignis. There's an awful lot of the environment around them that I felt would really be part of their clothing. And then we worked with all of the colors of the plant life and the vegetation. I need your help. I like my plan wherein we keep to ourselves. Foundation is the most complex show in terms of post-production of any project I've ever been involved in. On average, we have about 4,000 visual effects shots per season. The goal is to get everything photo real, to get the spaceships to move like we think spaceships would really move, to get our creatures to have the same kind of fidelity that any kind of animal would in our world. I have stories in me, many stories. Would you like to hear one? Demerzel's dungeon and how she's been split into pieces was based on the idea that she can heal herself and make herself whole at any point. So the prison had to reflect that she could be kept separated by glass panes, and her circuitry was then sandwiched between them. And then on the outer slices was her human form front and back and painted her circuitry onto these glass panes with LED lighting to make it feel physical. And then my team will go back in and we'll augment and give it that little bit of extra love to make it feel real. We probably spend a couple of weeks coloring each episode, going through it shot by shot trying to make everything as artful as possible. It's a highly technical process. You can change the mood of the scene by making it darker and blue. Sometimes they're shooting over three days, which one day it's raining and the next day it's not. So integrating all of those shots back together with visual effects shots requires a level of intricacy and detail. And then you've got sound. You've got a sound team called Sound Dogs who are incredible. Our job is to help supplement and exaggerate a lot of the visuals that we're seeing. I think just a little at the head, and then, then you're good. This year, there's beaches, and now you're dealing with waves and sounds that are clobbering the dialogue a bit, so you're trying to clean all that up. For Tyler's part and his crew, they're creating sounds of ships that don't really exist, creatures that don't exist. You're building a sound world from scratch. And there's always a sense of discovery in this process. I believe that post-production are one of the things that really makes Foundation feel different and more cinematic than your average show. I think it's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. Let's nice try, guys. Only Empire commands the stars. Crush them now. Show's forward. I can't wrap my head around the craftsmanship on this show. The attention to detail is just extraordinary that you could only really get on a production like this. The stakes are much higher in season two. The galaxy is countless number of planets, 10,000 inhabited worlds, so we see more of them this season. I didn't think that it could get any more vast, and somehow, some way, the team has made it even bigger. In season two, the rocket takes off, and we've been having an absolute blast. It's such an incredible spectacle, and I've never seen anything like it. Empire had a reckoning. I am so grateful and lucky that I get to be a part of this. And I think we really succeeded in season two, and it was a real treat bringing it to life. Oh.